is coming down. It is a rainy day here in England. And yes, you can see outside at the moment the rain is coming down rather heavily. Although this morning I was able to go out and have a lovely walk in the sunshine. Can you believe that this morning the weather was gorgeous and now the rain is coming down so heavily? Hello there. Welcome. We are back together again. Yes, it is a special English addict quick fix it's a short one and don't forget I am with you between now and Friday yes I am with you every day live from England mm. It is a quick fix today. I'm not with you for two hours. I'm not even with you for one hour. I am only with you for around 40 minutes. So please make the most of it. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? Are you feeling good today? I hope you're feeling good. I am feeling lonely today. Do you know why? Because Steve, Mr. Steve is away at the moment. He's gone on a conference. He's gone to to attend a conference. The first one that has actually happened in nearly two years because of various reasons. But yes, they are all getting together at his well, it, it's a conference for his work colleagues and also himself. So that is what he's doing. And I'm all on my own. So I am looking for sympathy today. I am feeling a little blue. <laughs> so maybe I do need your company on this special day because we are celebrating the month of October. But not only the month of October, but also the fact that this month I'm celebrating my 15 years on YouTube. I can't believe it. My name is Duncan. I talk about English. You might say that I am an English addict and I have a feeling maybe perhaps I'm not sure, but maybe you are an English addict as well. So that is the introduction over with. And yes, we have made it to the start of a brand new week. I am with you from Monday to Friday during October. It is a special month. I'm very excited, to be honest. And yes, it is Monday. <laughs> We are back together again. And yes, I was only here yesterday. It only seems like yesterday <laughs> since I was here with you last. And we are back together again. It's very nice to be with you on Monday, even though behind me you can see right now live <laughs> the rain is falling. It's pouring and the old man is definitely snoring. We have a lot of rain, even though this morning Mr. Steve was very kind. He dropped me off in town this morning. So thank you, Mr. Steve, for doing that and allowing me to get into town very quickly and also back home again to prepare for this. And also I knew that the rain was coming. So I did not want to get wet. I didn't want to get caught in the rain. I do not like it. I know some people like getting caught in the rain. They find it rather exciting and fun. But between you and me, I don't like it. I don't like get caught getting caught in the rain. To be honest, we have the live chat. Oh, hello to the live chat. I wonder who was first. Oh, very interesting. Today we have Shirin 
you are first on today's live chat congratulations <laughs> my hat is purple yes it does look rather strange even though it isn't purple but for some reason my camera is making my hat look as if it is purple but it isn't it is actually a strange shade of turquoise but for some reason my camera is showing it as <laughs> purple please don't ask me why i don't know uh, and now there's no background I've lost my background completely it's gone <laughs> because of the rain yes it is raining here I don't know what the weather is doing where you are but it's a little bit of a gloomy day today there it is right now I really wanted to show you the sunshine I wanted to show you the sheep in the field behind me but they've gone they've disappeared they've gone to shelter underneath some of the trees nearby so the sheep they were all there earlier in the field and I was very excited because I couldn't wait to show you the sheep live but they've gone they've gone into the corner of the field to protect themselves from the rain even though I, I don't think sheep can actually get wet so if the sheep are in the rain I don't think they actually do get wet because their their wool has has something special it, it, there's some sort of coating on the wool which stops the sheep from actually getting wet I can't remember the name of it now but there is something that the sheep produces that stops the the wool from soaking up all of the water <laughs> did you enjoy that explanation I hope so very strange day well done to Shirin oh and don't forget today the live chat is open for subscribers so only subscribers can chat today on the live stream and if you haven't subscribed well you can do it right now subscribe to my channel if you don't have a YouTube account you can create one very quickly in seconds it doesn't take very long and then you can join in on the live chat from Monday to Friday that is when I'm with you by the way during October so now you know we also have Palmyra and joining us today we have Luis Mendez hello Luis nice to see you back as well also Tomek hello Tomek nice to see you here it's also very interesting to find out who is actually subscribed to my YouTube channel so if you know anyone who has not subscribed yet please tell them say you must subscribe to Mr Duncan and then you can chat to him during the week who else is here today oh Mika hello Mika nice to see you here today nice to see you back as well Christina flower espoir oh can I say hello to oim oim thank you very much for your photograph that I received a few days ago now to be honest with you I have been a little naughty because I've I've been neglecting my emails and there is a good reason for that I've been rather busy doing other things but also it took me a very long time to get through all of the emails that I received for my birthday in August <laughs> so, so I I am a little bit behind with my emails but I do read them but sometimes it takes me a while to actually find them <laughs> So thank you very much for your photograph, Oim Oim, which apparently is moi, moi, backwards, which I like. I like that a lot. Hello also to, oh, we have Vitas. Hello, Vitas. Nice to see you here as well today. You're not first. Shirin was first today. But don't worry, you will have another chance tomorrow because I'm here every day, Monday to Friday 
and then of course I'm taking Saturday off for my rest even though next Saturday I will not be resting because I will be going to see my mother next weekend for those who who know the story of my mother she's currently in care so I will be going to see my mother next week which led me this morning because I was thinking of my mum this morning and I found some lovely photographs of when my mother came to see me here in Mitch Wenlock way back in 2014 would you like to see a photograph of my mum here she is <laughs> standing in Mitch Wenlock town square and there she is there's my lovely mummy in slightly better days when her health was was much better but that was way back in 2014 when she came to visit and also stay here for a few days in fact I think it was in December December 2014 is when this picture was taken and you might be able to see that behind my mother there are some Christmas lights so that is the reason why I know that that photograph was taken in December way back in 2014 seven years ago it's amazing how much things can change in seven years so I hope you enjoyed that oh by the way this morning in town I couldn't resist now I am being very good these days I'm not eating too much food <laughs> but I decided to treat myself this morning to a lovely cake we will be taking a look in a few moments at my cake my Monday cake this might actually be a new feature you see we might start this as a new feature so maybe every every Monday I can have my Monday cake so today's cake is coming up in a few moments and I hope we will all enjoy that as well oh we have Mayori is here hello Mayori yes it does look as if my background has disappeared <laughs> it's vanished and that's because the rain is falling really heavily now you can see Christina says oh Mr Duncan we are waiting for a storm to happen here in the north of Italy yes there has been also some very strange weather in the Middle East uh, over Oman or o Oman I'm sure you've heard of it Oman and also Yemen they've had a tornado very heavy rain in fact I believe in that particular area they've received over one year's worth of rain in just a few hours so a huge tornado has hit the the Middle East around Oman and also Yemen and I was reading about it this morning a very unusual occurrence hello also to Alessandra nice to see you here today yes I will try to do my best to keep you entertained during October we can have a little chat every day so this is my English addict quick fix so what this is is just myself popping up on your computer screen from Monday to Friday and we are doing this during October so for the whole of October I will be with you from Monday to Friday and also on Sunday as well with our usual live stream with Mr Steve and as I said next Saturday I'm going to see my mother I haven't been able to see her for a while so I'm really looking forward to that hello Sandra Sandra Gonzalez I am happy because I realized during this year I have improved my listening more thank you teacher and classmates steps to steps yes learning is a very curious thing this is something I've said in the past about learning anything sometimes you can learn without realizing and I think that's very true in fact you might say the same thing about life it's amazing how many things you learn every day 
even small things, even a very small thing. You might learn that thing, but not even realize it. So every day we are learning new things, but maybe just small things, maybe things that seem insignificant or, or minor. But over the long term, over time, they can become very important things. So I think learning a language is a little bit like that. As you learn a new language, you might think that you are not learning anything. However, as time goes by, you do improve. It's a little bit like aging. As you get older, you change. However, you don't really notice it. And learning is very similar. So as you learn something, you, you gather, you collect knowledge, know-how, experience, and, and it, it slowly builds up. And then one day, suddenly, you, you, you find that you can do it. Your English has improved. Maybe your English speaking or your understanding of English through listening. Hello to Sweet Life. Hello, Sweet Life. I love your channel and your style of teaching. Thank you very much. This is different. If you remember way back in 2006, when YouTube was just a little baby, it was still having poopies in its nappy. It's a long time ago when YouTube was very young and I was the first ever English English teacher on YouTube. It's true, the first ever. So I started teaching English way back in 2006 whilst I was still living in China. And here I am 15 years later, still doing it. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Ricardo. According to the Academy of the Language, an addict is a person who is addicted to a substance. <laughs> if we consider English as a substance, then I am firmly addicted to English. Thanks in part to Mr. Duncan's videos. Thank you, Ricardo. Yes, I suppose so. But I think it's fair to say that you can actually be addicted to anything. And I don't think all addictions are bad. Of course, there are bad addictions. But there are things you can become addicted to that are that are good or maybe things that are enjoyable. Something that you like doing, something that you enjoy, something that can be helpful to you, for goodness sake, <laughs> like learning English. So you can become addicted to English. I think so. I have a feeling maybe I am addicted to the English language as well. Thank you, Claudia, for your comment about my mother. Yes, she looks lovely in that photograph. And I still remember that time when she came to visit. And and we went to one of the local cafes and had an all day breakfast. <laughs> and I've never seen my mother enjoy a meal as much as she did on that day. So, yes, I will be seeing her. Sadly, she's not in the best of health anymore. But she is being taken care of and I will see her next weekend. Thank you, Beatrice. Oh, your lovely mum, Mr. Duncan. Thank you very much. So many wonderful messages coming through now. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Alessandra Rosa. Oh, hello, Alessandra, who is replying to Rosa. Hello also, Maruts Sroka. <laughs> I hope I pronounce your name right. If, if I ever pronounce your name incorrectly, can you please tell me? So then I know. I do get into trouble sometimes. Mayori. Hello. Yes, me too. I have also found some improvement in my listening. I remember the first time I joined this live chat and I was unable to understand some words. I couldn't cope with your speed. But now I can. Thank you very much. Yes, it is amazing. And, and this is something I have said before, and I will always say it. You can never do too much learning. And by that, I mean 
new skills, new information, new ways of doing things. You can never do that too much. Your brain is amazing because it can hold lots and lots of things. So learning is never a bad idea, to be honest. I love autumn. I love its colours and also the windy days and the thoughtful mood. Thank you, Palmyra. Yes, it's a very strange time of year. I always think the period of time between October uh, and also September. So as September ends and when October begins, I always find that it's a very strange time of year because you have that slow transition when one thing becomes something else. So we are slowly easing out of what I would describe as summer, summer weather, the summer season. And now we are slowly easing into autumn. So autumn is coming our way. So it's a transition, a slow change to change from one thing to another as you make an alteration. There is a transition. Hello, Adoralia. Hello to you, Adoralia Hernandez Rodriguez. I hope I pronounce your name right. If I didn't, <laughs> I'm ever so sorry, but I tried my best and that's all you can do. Hello, Trong T watching in Vietnam. I always forget to say hello to Vietnam because I know I have a lot of people watching there. Hello, Vietnam. Nice to see you here as well. Luis Mendez. Replying to Rosa, I don't like gloomy days. They depress me a little bit. The dark skies and the rain tapping on the window. It is so sad. I don't like the rain. I really don't. I don't like being in the rain. <laughs> and I'm sure you know that because I mention it almost all the time. But I don't like being in the rain. I don't like it at all, to be honest. I suppose being in the house is OK. I, I like being in the house and looking outside at the rain falling. But I don't like being in the rain. And that is the reason why I went into town this morning very early. I love your hat, Mr. Duncan. <laughs> I'm not sure what colour this hat is supposed to be, but it is supposed to be turquoise. But for some reason, it is registering as purple on my camera, which is very strange. Oh, it would appear that my dimples have been noticed. Your dimples, Mr. Duncan. Yes, my lovely dimples are coming back. <laughs> and the reason why they're coming back is because I'm losing weight. So already in my face, I can feel the difference. So as I'm losing one or two pounds, so the weight is slowly coming off. By that, I am losing a little bit of weight each week. I'm keeping fit. I'm doing lots of exercise. And I'm also eating less food, less rubbish, less junk food. Beatrice says, I like your hat. It has lots of energy in that colour. <laughs> Whatever this colour happens to be, I don't, I'm not sure today. I might not wear this hat tomorrow because for some reason it's it's making my camera do something very weird. Oh, Christina says you can go singing in the rain, just like Gene Kelly in that famous film. Hello also to Christina. Hello, Christina. The best seasons for me normally start from March to September. I think all of the seasons and some people don't get four seasons. They only have two seasons, and that is the dry season and the rainy season. But here we have four very uh, distinctive seasons. Spring, cool, windy, summer, 
warm, breezy, autumn, colourful. It can be cold. It can also be wet and windy. And of course, winter, <laughs> where literally anything can happen. So growing up, I remember that winter used to be a month or a season when we would get snow. <laughs> it was almost guaranteed. So whenever winter came during my childhood, I knew that it would snow and quite often it would. Sometimes it would snow a lot. Sometimes we would be sent home from school because the snow was falling so fast and so heavily that they would send us home. But they would say, you've got to go home now. I'm sorry, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. And sometimes the school would close completely because the heating had stopped working. Mm, yes. Darshil, I like the British accent. That is why I am here. Thank you, Darshil. I'm glad you like my British accent. Yes, I am broadcasting to you now live from England. So in the birthplace of the English language is what I always say. And it's true. This is where it all started here in England. <laughs> Nearly a thousand years ago. Hello also, Mosin. Hello also to Marwa Mohammed. Apparently, summer for you is scorching. I would imagine it is. Yes. Strange weather occurring around the world. As I mentioned a few moments ago, they've had tornadoes. A huge tornado has swept across Oman. Hello also to Francesca again. Nice to see you back. Sarawathi. Oh, hello, Sarawathi. Hello, I am new here and I found this channel yesterday and I really love the way you teach English. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. And I'm glad to see some new subscribers have joined me today. Thank you very much. Christina. Oh, I know what Christina is thinking about. Mm. You're thinking about Christmas, aren't you? Yes, because some people think when when winter comes, that can only mean one thing. That means that Christmas is on its way. I know, Christina, you are you are hoping that Father Christmas brings something nice for you. I think so. So it's time to reveal my cake. Would you like to see the cake that I bought this morning? I couldn't resist, to be honest. I went past. There is a new shop that recently opened here in Much Wenlock selling pies and also cakes. So you can get meat pies, vegetable pies, and also there is a lovely selection of cakes at this shop. And I couldn't resist as I went past. I looked in the window and there in front of me, I saw this amazing cake staring back at me. Look at that. I have got this later on. So I'm going to have a cup of tea this afternoon and I'm going to eat this. So this is my my little treat for today. Now, even though I'm on a diet, even though I am now trying to lose a little bit of weight, I can still have my little treat. So this is a little treat that I will be having later to comfort me. Whilst Mr. Steve is away at his conference. So this is a Battenberg cake. Battenberg. Very nice. It is an unusual piece of cake. In fact, it is made with sponge. Also, there is jam inside. And on the outside, if you look around the edge of the cake, you can see the the solid white. Well, it looks like icing, but in fact, it isn't. It is something that is made with almonds called marzipan. 
marzipan that's a great word by the way <laughs> it sounds like a magic word from Harry Potter marzipan marzipan it has a very nutty taste so this is Battenberg and it's quite easy to make to be honest with you and this is my my little snack today I'm going to have this later on today and I'm I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why it is called Battenberg well this particular cake was purportedly named in honor of the marriage of Princess Victoria a granddaughter of Queen Victoria when she married Prince Louis of Battenberg in 1884 so apparently this is supposedly it might not be true but this is what many people believe that this particular cake was created specially especially for the marriage between Princess Victoria and Prince Louis of Battenberg in 1884 however there might be other reasons as well I believe this cake can also be called domino cake as well so there it is today's Monday cake and this might be something I will do <laughs> every Monday I will show you my treat I will show you my Monday cake so I think that might be a new feature that we will be doing right here on my live stream mm. <laughs> I have to be honest with you <laughs> looking at that picture my mouth is watering if you want to find the recipe for Battenberg there, there are some lovely recipes online so just go to one of the search engines put Battenberg cake recipe and you will find some good suggestions there are other ways of making it by the way you can put something else inside besides jam you can use anything really but it is a very nice and some might say very sweet cake the coloring I think you can just use natural food coloring so normally inside the Battenberg you will find that there is pink and also well the other one is just plain sponge so that is just sponge that has not been colored but you can put red coloring pink coloring but of course nowadays you can also find coloring that is natural as well so many years ago lots of food coloring used to have lots of chemicals and horrible things inside but nowadays of course it is possible to find food coloring that is natural I remember years ago there was a type of there was a type of food coloring called cochineal which was actually made with squashed insects <laughs> I'm not joking cochineal I believe it was made using little bugs and they would squash them and inside there would be this lovely color <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice does it but but they do make very lovely colors apparently hello Darshil again could you please talk about some idioms and expressions because my mouth is also watering after all well your mouth is watering when your appetite has been aroused so maybe you see a lovely meal that someone else is eating or maybe your husband or wife your partner is in the kitchen making something to eat and you can smell the food you can smell it cooking and you will say darling darling I'm waiting for my supper my mouth is watering I'm waiting 
my mouth is watering Sania hello Sania Ali I was missing your smile that's okay you can have my smile every day this week because oh I think maybe you mean this do you mean this Ding -ding. <laughs> you can have my smile from Monday to Friday during October because I will be with you every day I can't believe that they use bugs to add color for food yes it's true I'm not lying there is there is a coloring that you can put in food called cochineal and I believe it comes from a type of beetle <laughs> I'm not making it up honestly you can check check on Google Woogle I will be going in a few moments tomorrow by the way we are looking at annoying habits that people have when they speak there are many annoying habits and apparently here in the UK here in Britain the problem has got so bad that they are now trying to to persuade young teenagers and children at school they're trying to persuade them to stop using these horrible slang terms when they're talking so I will be having a little look at that tomorrow but the only thing on my mind right now is a cup of tea and my Battenberg cake to be honest that is all I'm thinking about at the moment <laughs> yes I will be with you tomorrow from the same time from 2 p.m. UK time I am with you every day from Monday to Friday and of course Sunday as well Monday to Friday and Sunday so these live streams during the week will be short around about 40 minutes we can spend a little bit of time together every day from Monday to Friday thank you sunny -er. I love your voice thank you very much that's very kind of you we all have bad habits now I know in the past I used to have a very bad habit and that was eating too much food and that is the reason why I am trying to lose a little bit of weight and get fit I am going right now I hope you've enjoyed this live stream you can watch it again later and yes there will be captions on the screen so you will be able to watch this again later on with captions they will be right here at the bottom of the screen later on thanks a lot see you tomorrow I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday have a super duper day keep that smile on your face as you move around amongst the human race show people that you have a smile on your face and a warm glow in your heart and I will see you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time <laughs> I want my cake I want it my lovely Battenberg cake is waiting for me in the kitchen catch you later I hope you enjoyed this live stream and I will see you tomorrow this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for joining me for the past 45 minutes and I will see you later on and of course until tomorrow when we meet right here again you know what's coming next yes you do <sighs> ta-ta for now <laughs>